Hello and welcome to a new lesson from your technology teacher. In this lesson I would like to teach you some basic stuff about the construction and the function of a diode. A diode is electrical component that conducts the electrical current in the one direction and to lock it in the other direction. So you can compare it with a one-way street if you want. I will explain you what happens inside the diode when it conducts the current and when it locks the electrons, called as transmitting and locking device. The diode is part of the semiconductor family because it's made out of silicon or germanium, for example, these are the two most common materials for this kind of components and um, these materials have the character that they don't conduct as good as copper for example but also don't lock the current like plastic or some isolations of cables it's something between this kind of materials so we call it as a semiconductor in this circuit you can see the diode working as a conductor so the diode lets the electrons pass and the lamp shines that are there's light the diode works as a conductor when the arrow which is included in the diode sign shows in the same direction then the electrical current flows so that means the plus pole is connected to the anode of the diode and the minus pole of the power supply is connected with the cathode of the diode in this example it's connected over the lamp. But when you change the direction of the diode, it will work as a lock device. The plus pole of the power supply is connected to the anode of the diode and the cathode of the diode is connected to the minus pole of the supply. The electrons try to go their way from the minus pole through the cables and the diode and the lamp to the plus pole, but Unfortunately, the electrons cannot pass the diode. That means there is no current and no shining lamp, we are sitting in the dark. To make a diode work, you actually need more than just silicon or germanium. The diode has three different layers. One positive doped layer, one negative doped layer, and between these two in the middle there is a barrier layer. You can dope semiconductor material when you add another material with other atom construction. In the positive dope layer, for example, you have to add material with one electron less on the othermost atom shell compared to the semiconductor material. One electron less means less negative charge because you know and one electron is negative charged and you can see the missing electron as a whole and less negative charge means <laughs> obviously more positive charge and this makes this part positive doped in the negative layer we have to add a material with one electron more on the othermost atom shell but this is really less compared to the semiconductor material and the barrier layer is uh, neutral so nothing to add in this layer when you connect a power supply to the plus and minus pole of the diode you can explore a well-known physical effect you may know it from the magnetism while same charge materials reply each other and different charge materials attract each other. So when we watch the positive charged holes in the positive layer and the negative charged electrons in the negative top layer, we can see that the holes and the electrons get pushed to the barrier layer. So the barrier layer gets thinner. And with more and more voltage, from this power supply, the barrier layer is getting thinner and thinner till it's reached a certain point where the electrons cross the barrier layer and the diode starts to conduct. When you change the direction of the diode or the power supply, 
the positive charged holes get attracted to the minus pole of the power supply and the negative charged electrons get attracted by the positive pole of the power supply and as you can see the barrier layer is getting bigger and bigger and the diode locks the electrical current and works as a really really high resistor. Well, the default conduct voltage of a diode is around uh, 0 0.7 voltage and here in the background you can see a usual voltage current chart. Here in the last picture of the lesson you can see a view of a diode which is drawn a piece of paper for example when you just want to show someone a, an electrical circuit and you can identify the plus and minus pole of the diode with the direction of the arrow. So the arrow is flying from the minus pole to the plus pole. And I also draw a picture of a diode, uh, how you would see it in real life as a component on the bottom of this video. Um, every diode is marked with a line on the minus side. So this shows you the cathode of the diode. There is also another thing which may confuse you, this plus, minus, anode, cathode. So the plus and minus poles are called cathodes and anodes. Cathode and anode. Um, well, I have a kind of funny way to keep these things in my mind to remember cathode minus, anode plus, so there is this word minus cat in my mind, my electrical teacher teach me to keep it in my mind like this because minus cat connects the word minus and the word cat <laughs> and um, minus tells you oh that's a minus pool of course and cat connects minus t with cathode. Well I hope I could help you and I would like to see you in another video. Bye!